Talking about Mumbai Indians, let's have a look at who they have retained and how much uh, they've spent to retain those three, uh, all three capped Indian players. They've gone to uh, Rohit Sharma, Hardik Pandya, Jaspreet Bumrah. Bumrah at 7 crore, the number one T20 bowler in the world currently. I think that's the steal. And uh, you've got 47 crore left. But then, uh, what happens now? Uh, they, d Of course, a champion side will have a lot of good capped Indian players. Uh, so these guys now cannot be retained. Of course, they can be bought, but they cannot be retained using the right to match card. Harbaj saying Karan Sharma, Ambati Raidu and Parthi Patel and it makes it very interesting because they do have a certain Kunal Pandya who's an uncapped yeah. Indian player available uh, to them and right to match card can be used. So break it down for us. Basically you either use it for two foreigners and they have a plethora of foreigners to choose from or you use that uncapped player. So if you're Mumbai Indians which you spend a fair <laughs> amount of time with Mumbai Indians, yeah. what's the thinking here? Uh, it's, it's, it all depends on which bucket uh, you know, uh, Kunal comes yeah. into. I'm sure Mumbai would want to retain Krunal Pandya uh, with, with what he did last year. Uh, and, and he's a left-hander, comes in the middle order, floats, bowls left arm spin, and then, you know, is a good fielder. So, so he's an ideal uncapped player who's performed for Mumbai Indians. So you would want to retain him. But having said that, it's, it all depends on which bucket he comes in. If he comes in the first lot, then I think it's a lot easier mm -hmm. to say, okay, this is the price that we will go after. And you can possibly, you know, look to increase the, increase the cap. But if he comes later on, and if you have used, say, one RTM for, say, a Joss Butler, who comes probably in the first lot, then what do you do? Do you have enough money for, to go after Krunal, or you just give up? So it's, it's quite a challenge when you're sitting at the table. So it all depends on which bucket he comes in. And ideally, if I was sitting there, I would initially look at a Joss Butler and a Krunal Pandey as your mm -hmm. two RTMs for Mumbai Indians. But considering that you've retained the Indians, why not two foreigners for your RTMs? So a Joss Butler and how about a Pollard? I mean, is that what Mumbai Indians should be planning? Could do, yeah. Um, I think every franchise would have a value on each of these players. Um, Kurnal is quite attractive uh, by, for, for my liking as well, but you would have a value. And as Anil said, it depends on when his name comes up. Um, there will always be plenty of foreigners to choose from, but there are some exceptionally good ones as well, ones that have been retained, as we've seen. Um, but Krunal, to me, uh, you know, is, a, is quite attractive. Now, if you're Krunal Pandya, you're probably just sitting back and saying, let <laughs> them all come in, because in your opinion, A, what is, uh, for all these players we've spoken about, Butler, Pollard, Kronal mm -hmm. Pandya, if you're Mumbai Indians, how far are you willing to go? Uh, you know, it all depends where they come uh, on that auction table. Uh, Anil spoke about uh, which basket or which bucket do they belong to. Uh, because if you have money left, of course, you want to break your bank and acquire their services. Uh, they'll have an eye on uh, Kyron Pollard as well because he brings two skills to the table, uh, can bowl a little bit, he's a, an outstanding fielder and he's a finisher. A finisher is worth its weight in gold in T20 cricket because you can change the game, impact the game in the last five overs. He's a proven customer. You've got Joss Butler, so you may want to retain him.